Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. There's Pate coming in with the Spigoots. My name is British Brat, and we are continuing this last run of Darkest Dungeon 2. We are on Act 2. We have ourselves these paths, and we are going to continue on here. So, last episode, we did get the bumper crop from the Baby. Uh, we kicked the baby's the butt, and now we're going to figure out what land. we're doing Probably from there. Um, if you like this kind of content, hey, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing. Super helps me out. That way you don't miss any of my content and uh, all that fun stuff. And if you're hanging out here in Twitch, hey, we have a game giveaway going on in the Discord. You can do exclamation Discord to find out about that if you'd like to go over there and join the game giveaway for a chance to win a free random Steam key. So... Uh, where are we going? What are we doing? And how are we doing it? That's going to be the question of the day. So we'll go ahead and uh, toss this trophy on. Accomplishment um, remembering. We should probably go ahead and... Oh, man, look at all those almanacs. Malmanacs. Laumanacs. What do we have? We have the Shrieker chick, right? Repaired and so we'll go ahead and repair up fully here. We won't Medical be able to afford anything. Ahead. There wasn't any scouting. Oh, there is scouting here. Right there. Right there in front of me. Um, so we're not getting any benefit there. Let's see. What do we got going on here? We have, uh, we have three food, um, but we have enough money to buy, like, the food that we need without having to use the tin delicacies. So we'll just go ahead and pop that down now. Um, let's lower some stress. Okay. All right. Well, that, okay. That's fine. We tried, you know, that's, that's what matters. Twitch version of BB talks slower than YouTube version of BB. Yeah, do I? I don't know. I don't know what I do differently on my dedicated YouTube videos, of which I need to make more. I need to do more of that. Looks like we have one negative relationship. Unfriendly here. We need to get them up three pips to get them out of the negative zone. Otherwise, everybody else is at least uh, only going to get nothing. So can we get three hips? It's bright. likely we can, but not guaranteed. I mean, we, I say likely, I actually don't know for sure. Can we risk playing cards? Is anybody like on the cusp right now? Talk to on Twitch? Probably, yeah. I mean, I'm actually responding to people, right? I just to make sure nobody's like, this would go down to that, but it'd still be 0% and that's fine. So we're gonna take playing cards and then we're gonna take whiskey flasks and we're just gonna hope for the best here so it was these two right cactus and robin hope we get a double pip but we'll see also how you doing cloud welcome on in hey okay. there's only oh, of course she's blocking it. what what's blocking it greedy curmudgeon oh goodness me do we have anything else that'll pop relationships up i mean we have songbook we could go for that Oh, we have Songbook of Amorous Ballads. That's a bit more focused and much more likely. Oh, god damn it. Of course, it's blocked by Ascetic, and she has that too. You, you dingleberry. Okay. Okay, that's all that matters. Okay, fine. We got, we got it up. Jeez. Jeez Louise, lady. It made that difficult, didn't you? Goodness me. All right. What do we want for mastery here? Uh, I'm going to upgrade Grave Shop last. We're getting a lot of value out of that. Doing well, just learning how to build craft in a game I've been getting. Oh, nice. What uh, what game? Outside of Minecraft, I've never really gotten into many, like, building, crafting games, you know? Uh... Let's upgrade Firestarter and then Dragonfly. Uh, where are we going? Nobody knows. Where are we going? Nobody knows. Uh, we could go for the Sprawl. We could go for the Tangle. Tangle's going to give us Mastery Points. If we complete the region with no Stagecoach items equipped, probably should have paid attention to that before I paid money to upgrade this fully, huh? But I think we can definitely validate doing that. Oh, here's our Vitrin, by the way. So right now we're still going, we'll clear out the Despairing Flame one right now. Get Act 2 done out of the way and, and be done with it. That's assuming we can beat Act 2 with this team, which is um, is definitely going to be a feat. 
So I say we go for the Tangle. Trenches is there anything else we want for mastery points wise? Pouch of Lies is going to be good for us. That was never um, oh, right. We have Trinket. Ooh, look at that. I forgot we got this Trinket. Okay, so we have Tormenting Locket. If rank 1 plus 10% crit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gain on range. He is using range skills fairly often. Did someone drop another sub bomb? No, we, that was just. Well, I mean, we had the 100, right? But no, that was that was where the 100 after your 50 got us, Crustacean. I'm going back to see the ending. Oh, very nice. Any interest? No, we don't have any interesting ones, unfortunately. Um, use anti venom. Land killing blown cadavers, killing blown pillagers, and fanatics. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. Uh, I do think this is <sighs> maybe better there. All oh, right, we've got the infinite crit glitch going on too, which is funny. Hemic rot is unfortunate. Um. I mean, the additional crit is not... I mean, or do we get move? We do get move from rank one quite often, though. Like, this is nice, but I don't know if it's amazing for us. Because we move a lot. We're going to be... You know what? I'm not going to take it. I don't think it's the right trinket for us. Personally. Now, Bonnie could probably get some value out of Lockjaw if we wanted to. This would work against the Act 3 boss, or Act 2 boss, and actually allow us to burn pretty reliably especially of arsonist like we'd be able to to do some pretty gnarly stuff now of course we'd have to take off knitted blanket because we don't have shambler spawn but if we do find a distant trinket it's it's worth looking into um so we'll, we'll keep it for now right we're just gonna drop that single bandage and we're not gonna take anything for the wayne right right now uh, hey, August, how's it going? Reading the patch notes, but I like the way they've done the uh, possible token game with the curses on occultist. They've done the po oh, yeah, this will probably change his his whole kind of thing. But yeah, it, it's now on the uh, on the abilities themselves, right? Anyway, I'm going to grab the soothing poultice. This is going to be good for us. Um... Ceremonial drums will also be Something a good find for us. The rigors of the road. In fact, I'm gonna grab both. These are gonna be good for us uh, to stop the um, the side from just shoving everybody backwards and disrupting our team too much, which is important. We're gonna do this for the mastery points and uh, welcome back. Bust some paths and nurse others. Alchemist blight piercing not working. Yeah, exactly. But that also on the flip side then buffs. Uh, the Hellion from her having the, uh, wait, what? Wait, I thought we got them out of negative. Oh, they were just in neutral, weren't they? Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, Abyssal Artillery will give Taunt, and now we've got Backdraft. Which, I guess we could use Backdraft if we're using Firestarter. Um, hey, Force Disturb, how's it going? 96, welcome on in. 96, Pork, whatever. Pork, I've never actually asked. Do you prefer 96? Do you prefer Pork? Do you prefer 96, Pork? Kazine, welcome on in. Good to have you here. War. I don't think I've ever asked. Rewards. What do we lose Only in this? Resignation. Uh, Dragonfly. We need Dragonfly, I think. Oh my god, the Twinks are in love. In love. In love. Oh, actually, I shouldn't even check what their Amorous was. Vulnerability Hex and Fate to Black. Fate to Black heals. That's really nice. Okay. Um, where are we going? What are we doing here? Uh, that watchtower is awfully nice looking this early on. We should definitely go snag that. Don't think we're going to be taking on the general. We have no need to be taking on the general, but, you know. The loathing For backdraft death. gaming, is Arsonist to play? I feel like she gets easily targeted. Um, I mean, Arsonist is good for it, but it's not a requirement. But yeah, she can get easily targeted. It's just kind of dependent on if you have a way to kind of mitigate the amount of damage she's going to be taking. Aspen, good morning. Curse Light, welcome on in. Good to see so many friendly faces here today. I hope you're all having a great day. I trust you have calculated your odds carefully. Ah, this coffee. Will not be easy. Work today was very easy. 
I just tinkered around a little bit. Messed around with my 401k a bit. <laughs> it's pretty easy, actually. Morning, it's evening here. It's morning here. All the way out in sunny Arizona. All right, General's Keep. We're not doing anything with the General's Keep. The, the General's, yeah, that's, yeah. It's okay, I know. I know you guys want to fight the General. It's okay. So remember, we do have infinite, um, <laughs> we have we have infinite crit right now, which is amazing. We, we love that. We love infinite crit. This is worth the, uh, the, Taunting development. Only one burn. Damn you! Dodge it. Yes, excellent. Good man. No. Okay, it's fine. Everything's okay. Nothing. Nothing bad. Okay, you were supposed to dodge that big guy. Come on. It's a fairly squishy team when you think about it. Mmm, infinite crit. The bleed is a little obnoxious, but we can work around the bleed. Yes, get burned. Burn, baby, burn. It's funny setting things on fire with him. This is God, no these guys do so much burn. damage. I just find it crazy, like, how much damage they do. Oh, yeah, a whopping two damage here. Why is it only two? I guess it's it's 75% or 50% of damage. It's only three remaining, so... Not really the optimal play. Hey, Berg, how's it going? Welcome on in. Baby is the PP pee -pee Poop Man. I am the PP pee -pee Poop Man. Thank you for reminding the people of that. Did they buff them this patch? Buff who? Who? Whom are you asking? The heroes? Uh, the heroes didn't really get changed either way. Um, they did get uh, the ones that weren't on the new path system got their abilities ported over. What's the reward mentioned in the title? Uh, so, uh, I don't want to spoil it, and I won't spoil it for people, but there is a reward for um, filling out the Vitrin. There's a, there's a unique thing that you get. I won't spoil what it is, though. If you want to find out what it is, you can, like, um, you can check the Darkest Dungeon Discord. People have data mined it and stuff. It's, it's all there. Oh, do they get buffed? No, they haven't been buffed. They are, they are normal. Regular foot soldiers. I actually haven't seen what the item is, but I know what the item is, so. But there is something you get for doing it. Knight, drummer, bishop, next fight I bet. I'm not taking the next fight. I don't need it. We're out. I hate that they can... I, yeah, the, the hitting rank 3 thing has always been a little weird to me. That's a lot of reach for a damaging attack that does that much. Right? I wouldn't mind if they could hit rank 3, but do, like, if they had, like, a weaker attack that did it. Or if their, like, lunge attack, like their um, shambling, shambling thrust, shambling thrust attack, or whatever, is the one that could hit rank three, like they're stumbling forward, but it does less damage. Like that, that I'd be fine with. But money, I, I got enough money. Each infernal torch, yeah, so um, for filling this out. If you complete this, you get something. I'll give you my shambling thrust, ooh woo. Ooh woo. Alright, let's check. I'm assuming I know what this email is. Ah, oh, I bought something. Cool. I'll do it myself. I'll do me, myself, and I. Uh, alright, let's see what we got going on here. Um, we'll swap for that. That's gonna be helpful. Yeah. Ah, we got a candle buff here. How many candles do we have? So this will take most of our candles, but it is pretty nice to have. So let's go for it. Uh, so this will trade six candles for uh, double dodge plus on all of our heroes. Are you sure about that? I'm absolutely positive about that. Thank you, only John Cena. Other. Um, yeah, we're just gonna fire starter. Stupendous. Potato salad? Potato salad? 
I don't know what that what that's referencing. Oh, that was an unfortunate thing to not dodge. Damn. Yeah, exactly. That sucks. What do we get the heal from there? Does somebody... Oh, he does have Ghastly Girl. I do have to remember that he has that because it does affect, like, how we play, but... The internet equates Mr. Cena to potato salad. That's interesting. I This is not a fact I knew about Mr. Bravo. Cena. Can be used interchangeably. Damn, Occultist is a Giga Chad for resisting all of that. Do it again. Oh my god, he did do it again. Bro, what? That's actually pretty insane. I'm cool with that. Dodge it. Good man. Good man. That's what I like to see. Um. Yeah, we'll just crit. Stroke. A brilliant conclusion. Now you can see he is stacking up a lot of bleed on himself. You know, so we'll do that. We'll get that bleed healed. Then we'll go ahead and pull this guy. Lurk for Chora is going to swap out garbage. But ooh, look at you doing adulty stuff. Gross. Don't do it again. No, okay. Good luck with your uh, garbage disposal cleanup. Vanquisher doing some work there. This team has become pretty interesting. Whoa, that was a heal. Jeez, look at that. Um, dead anyway. Is there anything we could we could potentially get a heal? But like, is it worth it? Kinda. Maybe we can encore her. All right, this won't this won't proc the bleed then oh, he bled himself too so do i heal her or heal him ah uh, let's heal her and then we'll get the kill there hey the level 20 jeff how's it going is a lesson learned Ooh, we do get a dark impulse this is good i'll leave that the wolf spot i don't need that so if we wanted to use lockjaw we could um, we probably will save it for the final boss, I would imagine, because I'd rather... Like, this is good, right? The burn resist is very nice. Um, but she has very high burn resist naturally. My main thing will be landing the uh, dots. If we can land the dots on that fight, it's going to help us a lot. Um, in just removing the lungs, so... All right, what do we got going on here? Oof, man, this is... <laughs> okay, my options are... Max out my loathing pretty much. I guess we take it and then there's, that's a neutral. And then we go that way. Oh, man. Or we take double armor. That takes out our armor. And then we have to go this way anyway. Man, not a great, <laughs> not a great set of options either way. I think going to the right will be better. And then going left. So we only take one loathing. Or I guess we could go up this way. What am I talking about? We can go up the... Plan the boss's backdraft game we could definitely do backdraft i've i've made it work before um and with fire starter and stuff like it's possible you can make it operate uh it's not really that wasn't really the plan like i didn't really have a plan for the boss i just kind of picked a team and we picked a boss but uh backdraft is definitely viable at taking out the back lung can she use backdraft from this rank i forget i don't use this ability yeah she has to be up front right so um we could we could possibly see about doing it all right so we're taking this fight there is blood to spill yes there is my friend so much blood Ugh. hey who called this fight who was it somebody called this fight also uh, if my internet's being glitchy that's why um from rank three is sad. It definitely is a thing of all time for sure. Bravo! <laughs> Damn it, Cloud! Thankfully, we have double dodge plus up here. Actually, we won't get to keep the dodge plus, but it will turn into crit. Um. All right, what do, what do we want to play here? Because I won't be able to pull. 
putting Voln on my uh, runaway is not really something I want to do. But the knight, okay, the knight is going now, so we'll do this. And then we do this. Malaise. I should hopefully both dodge. Okay, great. That's fine. Okay, Ghastly Gruel doing some work for us there. Fantastic. This is a this is a rough fight, man. There's a lot happening here. Uh, we're gonna weaken him if we can. There you go. All right. At least to tone down that that damage. Hey, Uncanny, how's it going? Welcome on in. Dodge it. Good man. Didn't really need to dodge that actually, but thankfully we lowered the amount of damage we took there, which was good because that would have sucked otherwise. All right, let's hit the Firefly here. See the burn spreads. It did not, but that's 10 damage, so we're good there. Let's get the Repost going. Thanks for the Lord Cloud. I appreciate it. Yeah, they're elite as well, which is really, really good for us. Okay, there's Blind, which is nice. Good little crit heal there. The Taunt is kind of redundant in this fight because this guy's always just going to hit the front ranks and he's always going to put... Slay the wounded on him. Yeah. Man, that's a crazy combination of Amherst because it's always going to crit heal. <laughs> 18 burn. Loving that. We'll go ahead and heal up here. And I'm just going to smack. Oh, that's a great crit. Amazing. That's going to remove that corpse for us, which would be good. Counts as a heal as well, which is interesting. Damn! Oh, I was hoping that 19 would not hit. Okay, so... He... he ain't dead yet. But we killed the drummer. We're going to heal Bonnie here. Oh, she can't heal herself. Ugh. Gross. All right, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna take aim here because I'm just gonna heal with Al if I can. I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Fourth, then the knight dies. Great. All problems have their solutions, even the big ones. Good stuff. Managed that one pretty well. That was a scary fight. Elite knight can be an absolute nightmare. Uh, you know, no pun intended, I guess. Okay, faceless facsimile. Let's go check that out. We're just doing this to avoid too much loathing or too little armor. Yeah, this team is doing really well. It's uh, It's been surprisingly good. Again, I don't think it'll do amazingly well against the Act 2 boss, but, you know. I've I've seen dumber teams do dumber fights and a win. Of research and so. inquiry. A monument to uh, a man. prestigious career. Of the altar guy, the fallen Templar, I've only seen him like three times. <laughs> and he's got one of the coolest designs in the game. Trinket is gonna be um I can't recall what the trinket is. I think it's the one that gives positive tokens. Combat item and let's, let's see what the trinket is. Let's see what we get. Precision striker. Ooh, that's nice. The spoils, An additional seven percent. Okay, we get faces visage. Power. Um, <sighs> this team can kind of deal with it, if I'm entirely honest. It's not good against the final boss, right? But this team can shuffle itself effectively. I still don't think it's worth it, though. We'll believe it. It's a, it's a, it's a goofy item, though. You, if you have a dancing team, I would always take it, because for ninety percent of the game, it's just gonna disrupt the enemy so much that it's, it's almost always gonna help you. It's uh, against cultists. That thing is insane. It absolutely wrecks cultist fights. Um, Maybe not the Exemplar, but other fights just get, like, the Evangelists, the the Heralds, 
they all just get super confused. The cherubs like, I don't know what's happening. Where am I? What am I doing? Crit token. I don't really need the crit token, do I? Who can take the relationship hit more? You They're sure the same. about that? You sure about that? That's why? I, yeah, I you am. Sure I just checked. I am very sure about that. the thing that happened? Hey, Maxwell, no how's it going? Look at me without dying laughing. Funny thing is, I actually can't hear this one. You sure about that? You sure about that? that's not why? Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take aim. We're gonna wanna pull the Arbalists, get them up here if we can. Um, and then I'm gonna encore Bonnie. We're gonna get the uh, fire starter going. Oh, he started with a crit token, so now he's gone into dodge tokens, which is interesting. Wow, he did not dodge that. That's unfortunate. I mean, it is only 75% chance, but, you know. Another little bit of burn there. Yeah, one of the reasons disruption is so important. We basically got rid of that guy's turn. Like, he, he does nothing important to the team, and now he's dead, right? So. Are we, like, poorly primed, or are we too slow, or what's going on here? Like I'm not generating the stuff I need anymore. Right. Well hit done. here, good crit. 19, it's enough to put them at death's door. Uh, I'm gonna save Demon's Pull for now. He's dead. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill with Demon's Pull if I can. Mmm, that was unfortunate. The reason I wanted to kill with Demon's Pull is it would've removed the corpse. Unfortunately, he's just gonna tell him to serve once more. Um, mm. Hi. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. There's the crit token. Let's go for the blind here then. And I'm gonna do this. Pull the knight into the back rank, which is really potent for us. The least decent disruption. He's dead already. Um, we have the dodge. Let's go for it. Yeah. Straightforward and effective. Uh, we're just gonna pass heal. We got a crit heal here. Have at you? Yeah, he only does. Um, he only does it from rank four, right? So you have to you have to put him in a rank four to make that operate. Definitely go with some stress healing here. Mm, I'm gonna take the hit. Just to make sure he dies. I'm doing this to move the Jester so he can do a uh, stress heal. in the extreme this work right. is noble not bad not we're chugging along cultist fight coming up take a look at our combat items all right we have an empty slot here how's our torch doing uh it's the sparing flame so we don't really need to worry about it too much it does increase their crit chances though but um it's fine take the fight here Let's see what it is. Okay, it's gonna be a uh, regional fight. Should be fine. A lot of a lot of DPS on this team, but it's it's manageable. No collector. Yeah, sad. I didn't actually mean to encore him. I should have encored uh, Bonnie. I, that was a bit of a misplay there. But that's fine. Just do this. We'll go ahead and remove 
the block tokens. Dodge, thank you. The mind grasp grows mm. Usually they purge the person with the most tokens. That was an interesting play. Double crit though is nice. No stress heal though. Normal enemies, Drummer, I hate the most. I think Drummer is unanimously one of the most hated enemies, which probably means that he's very good, very good design. He's a very frustrating enemy to play with. But he's fairly easy to counter if you have a decent team for it. Could be worse. Twelve damage, twelve damage, it's not enough to kill. That is enough to get this guy to death's door though, so let's just go ahead and whack that down. Hey Fulgor more. Fulgor's not a regular enemy though, right? If we're talking like it has to be a regular enemy, then that's yeah, a brilliant conclusion. May I introduce you to Cardinal? You, well, you don't like your vessel being hollowed out? I love my vessel being hollowed out. The dodge. That's, oh, come on. Buddy, your dodge is broken, I think. He doesn't have two benediction tokens, so I'm not worried about him summoning quite yet. It will definitely be an issue later on, though. Yeah, he's he just chilling over there. We get two stress heal here, so let's just go ahead and do that. And we can throw a vulnerability hex here. Pulls him closer. Like, yes, the demon's pull would have done the same thing, essentially, but that way we got the stress heal out of it. And that makes me happy. Is still fire starter going on? I do not, so I'll just go for the damage. A crit for a creep. A crit for a crit keeps the. Shut up. Alright, we just have to do enough damage here. There we go. Easy day. Hey, Nave, how's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, we've got the better version of this trinket. I don't need it. Yeah, no death before dishonor in this household. We're better than that. Okay. Hey guys, if you're not following already, you know, we're how many away? Uh, I'm six followers away from 3,000 followers here on Twitch, so... Same. All right, another candle interaction. We're getting quite a few on this run, so this will be pretty good. We all start with a crit token. Nice. Um. All right. How are we gonna play this? say that yeah it's crazy uh we'll go for the blind here now i'm gonna get the repost generating one well, not generating but well yeah we'll generate right and then we're gonna go ahead and pull the uh pull the altar get some up here best infernal flame for someone who hasn't touched any of them um probably despairing flame it does add a lot of crit, but it's kind of the easiest to, like, understand. Like, it's just the torch is, like, low off the get-go. Fragile Flame is fine, but it's different every time, so you can't really, like, predict the outcome of it. Um... Uh, yeah, I'd probably say Despairing Flame. I know, Star of the Chosen gets very hectic very fast if you don't have a way to handle the um, combo generation. Like if you're if you're still new to infernal torches, I'd I'd probably steer away from it. Just until you can kind of figure out what teams are gonna work well. I guess if you're not new to the game though, you can probably make that like that's probably one of the torches you can make work in your favor the easiest. But you can be like, oh, I'm gonna use this as like a solo, you know, generator. Flame will be easy in comparison. I mean, that's definitely an option. I mean, it's a great option, but it's an option. Um, I 
It's just kind of a cop out. I could have gone for Duelist of Ants, but we, we already have our boss, so like, whatever. I just need to get him back here. Yeah, I mean, Star of the Chosen is probably one of the more fun ones if you want to do something that's fun. Um, so is Corpse Light. Corpse Light's very fun as well. If you're just looking for like a one that actually like changes the way you have to play the game, those two are like the ones that are going to give you the the most like gameplay changes and all that. Do you not know he's not Flagellan? Yeah, he just misses uh, old school flag. So he thought he'd he'd uh, you know bring him back a little bit. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Yeah, I mean, there's a good reason to do it. You get a reward for doing all of them. Well done. So you might as well knock them all out. We'll slowly work our way up to that. It's going to be really tough to do, but we'll do it. A brilliant conclusion. Yeah, bad choice there, buddy. A petty hindrance. This Dark Impulse is better than the one that we have. So we'll take that. I don't really think we need stirring snuff. Yeah, we we'll items. Hmm. We'll get three or four mastery points out of this region. It's not much, but we'll get it. Ooh, okay. We get an ambush fight. Man, I really tried to avoid that. I should have paid more Mind attention. We had the whole thing scouted. They have hey, Supercrackers, it's going. One's going. We are going to have not an ambush fight. We're going to have a um, prepare fight. I mean, at least we know it's coming, so we can kind of prepare for it, you know? It's going to be wheels, so we're going to have extra stress to deal with. Oh, my God. I wish we could equip it, but we can't. Two, yeah, we get two for the region goal. We have one, and then we should get one for the final fight in the region. I'm gonna drop this bearing flame. I do not need it. How are we doing on food? Yeah, we need this. Do I need blistering bugle? I mean, it has potential on uh, Dismas because we want him to be doing his repost, but I also don't want it proccing. No, nah, I really don't want it proccing all the time. Proxy doll is probably the one that I should maybe be. Thinking about removing, if I'm entirely honest. Uh, it doesn't really do much for us. I don't need the storage trunk. This is also not going to do anything for me. All right. So, uh, how do we want to prepare for this fight? We could definitely be seeing blind, but I don't think I need it on two heroes. This is going to be one of the best ways to peel off a lot of dodge tokens. All right, let's go for it. There's a likelihood, a fairly good likelihood this is antiquarian. But we'll see. Hey, Ginger, how you doing? No antiquarian, that's good. You must survive this onslaught shorthanded. So because we lost our wheels, uh, we get this don't leave me token, uh, which will generate uh, one stress per round, basically like horror does. So uh, let's go ahead and pull the crack shot before they front mortar. Take aim going here. Give me a lot of crits happening here. Okay. This will crit. That's a big hit for us. Fantastic. We're gonna get the stress down now. And kills your crusader. I feel like you're speaking from personal experience more than anything. On 
to the next. Bleeds are fine. That this crit is, no is less fine, but nothing we can't heal. Front mortar. No, shell shock. Interesting. A hey, good resist there on the stress. Thank you. We could pass heal. It will give us a crit heal. Um, but I think we're going to take the crit damage. And we'll, uh, we'll heal on this turn here. Uh, let's do this. That stops front mortar from being an option. So, do that. And this. Nice big heal. The smallest variable can make all the difference. And she can heal herself up. Alright. Remember, we have buffed healing because of the uh, baby's head trinket. That's why everybody's healing so much. Which is awesome for us. Yeah, occultist, uh, ritualist occultist with the uh, the bumper crop and ghastly gruel. He just heals for like, it, I mean, bonkers. He's just he's just dumb healing. A simple variable, easily resolved. This team has right now has a decent amount of healing options. If we're lucky, and we roll we amorous again, which you are likely to do once you have a relationship. You. As long as you roll, like if we roll another positive, it'll most likely be amorous on that that group, that couple. Um, hopefully we get a healing one that's on a decent ability. Because having that 10% heal makes a, a very big difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, what fight do we have coming up? There's no exemplar, so we don't have to worry about exemplar here. We'll just, um, yeah, I'll just take this for the stress heal. I don't really care. Your path lies through them. And so they must fall. All right, nobody really wants to fight here. 16 relics. We can drop 16 relics. That's fine. Well, actually, we can drop 10 torch. We're going up against the final fight here. Yes, this lowers our torch, but we don't need to worry about getting ambushed anymore in this game, at least in this version. So. Man, I cannot wait for kingdoms. I, I need more information on that update. I need to know what's going on with that. Because that's going to be so freaking cool. Hi. Right. Deacon fight or Cardinal? Cardinal! Hey, buddy. How you doing? When did you get a name? You've probably had that for a while, and I've just been an idiot about that. That that seems legit. All right. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Shoving Cardinal to rank four increases the chance that he won't do Hollow Vessel, but it doesn't guarantee it, obviously. Kings will be epic. They will be very epic. The most epic. Right, let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Line the big guy. It's going to be the most important thing for us. Obviously, we want to kill these guys before they can get off their, uh, their big hits or their big heals, but... Alright, there's one dead. A promising development. A fire starter here. And get a stress heal for this. Might as well. And this vulnerability hex here. Be able to customize our own city and evade neighbors. I I don't know. I think I think it's just because the the map is, is different every time. Hold fast. What lurks in the beyond. I don't think we'll be able to play with people, but it'd be cool if we could. I just don't see that being something that they would focus on. It doesn't seem very in line with the design elements of the game so far. Advanced Kingdom industry. I mean, I will whenever and we get access to it. You know, I don't know when that's going to be, right? So, 
Um, I'm hoping I'll have some word on that somewhat early. Hey, Candy, how's it going? Welcome on in. But we'll see. We'll see how lucky I get with uh, with what Red Hook's willing to share with me. Unfortunately, this guy is just a big stress check. Like, you just end up having to just deal with the stress, and it is what it is. We are critting an awful lot, though, which is which is helping. I, no, I I didn't say I am. I said I'm, I'm hopeful I will, but I have no idea if I will. Amidst the spoils, an I'm definitely going to be reaching out and seeing what they power. can offer or what they're willing to show or not show as we get closer. But yeah, I, I have no I, I have no idea. Nothing nothing has been told to me. Um, heal on hit. I mean, it's nice. It lower our health an awful lot, though. But constant healing is really nice. I don't. I think these two. Well, this one I would be okay to change. Like, Proxy Doll doesn't do much for us. Like, Guild and Mine would be a better option for us than Proxy Doll. Just because now you can you know, resist some stress, a little bit increased D DBR, whatever. But as far as what we take here, I think we're going to end up sticking with Precise... Or Lockjaw, sorry. Locked Jaw, and we'll probably throw that on her. I think we'll do it right before the final fight. Because we really want her being able to land the burns, and then we'll probably upgrade backdraft and just use backdraft as a way to damage the back lung. I think that's going to be our best bet for damaging the back lung. So we'll probably want to encore early on, get as much burn like crocked into the uh, the main body as possible. Can I get rid of that, please? That'd be great. And then uh, and then we'll go for backdraft gaming from there. Bearman, how you doing, bud? I think we're just going to leave these items. Some streamers got to show off parts of the DLC before release. Yeah, I did get to do... I got to show off the um, the flag before release. Was it before release? It was, yeah. I got to show off the flag before release. Um, and I got to stream to, like, the Steam page, and that was a really cool opportunity, and Red Hook has been very, very good about doing stuff like that, and I'm sure they'll want to get some PR on this as well. Um, but they've been really good with me in the past. Like, with the Crusader and Duelist stuff, they let me... Come here oh, the good doctor. That's excellent. They let me get access a little early, and I could record videos, and then I was able to post... Like, the moment it went live, I posted all my videos. I had a a bunch of comments that were telling... Or people were like, he, he hacked it, or he got... He broke his NDA. I'm like, no, it's not at all what happened, but okay. Head injury is not great. Uh, amateur Weaponsmith is fine. We do get rid of Hemic Rot, which is actually quite nice for us, because that weakness would be pretty bad on, um, on her. Again, we're going to keep those trinkets on her for now, and then we'll, we'll kind of roll around. You hacked Red Hook? I did. I hacked the whole of Red Hook. All of it. Um, we only have one relationship we actually need to work on. That's going to be this one. Though, getting anybody to 2020 is going to be... 20 out of 20 at least gives us the chance of a positive relationship. The rest of these are going to be stuck at zero. Um, so if we have that option, we should probably play around a bit. But let's get some food into people. Um... I'm going to increase both these guys' move resist. Just because I think they're the most likely to get hit with something that's going to knock them back. And I don't want that happening. Uh, she has deadly, so I'm not super worried about her crit chance, though. Getting crit tokens will definitely be nice if we can land those up with backdraft. Sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take off these trinkets now. We're going to put these ones on. Going to drastically lower her burn resist, obviously. Um... If we can get it up a little bit, that'd be nice, just because I don't want to deal with her being burned all the time. Yeah, Precious a good doctor, very clutch. Us of a time before the end. Um, sure, we'll increase this as well.
Do we have any relationships this could ruin? As in, are there any that are right on the cusp of neutral? No. So whiskey is actually a valid option for us here. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted the stress relief more than anything. Uh, we still need to get this one up. She didn't want the whiskey. What? What's blocking that? Is that curmudgeon? Probably. Uh, I think she should be okay with this. Again, we just need to get her out of neutral. That's all that matters. Cactus and Robin. There you go. Getting them to a zero is more than fine in my book. Yeah, and I really wish this would tell me what buff she gets, but it's not. Alright. Squeamish. Ugh, that's gross. We've already fed all of them. Fantastic. We don't really need to worry about diseases at this point. Um, if I had scouting gear, I would take it. Um, this isn't really... None of this is really going to help me about this. Hey, Matematico. We're running the Despairing Flame right now. Uh, I have neither of those commands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy to answer. I need to add it as like a thing down here when I'm running a flame. I should just have it like there. Um, don't need I re like restorative herbs will be good. Just trying to kind of figure out my costs before going into it. Burn salve is definitely something we should probably grab. Uh, Pouch of light isn't going to do much for us. Shimmering powder is maybe helpful but probably not so take holy water more than anything else there yeah, and i don't think these trinkets are gonna do too much for us i mean hail drought gives us 50 percent additional health which basically counts as additional healing received from skills in the sense that we have the baby's trophy trinket which is doing things on health percentages so I think that that might be better for us than the Greater Bouncer's Belt. In the sense that we get more health and we'll get better healing. So I think we're going to go for that. Could also do this and he could just be really... I, I, I'm trying to think, like, how much damage do we have? We really don't have much. If we're looking to do the 12 damage up front, it's going to be pretty rough for us to manage that. When upgraded, what does this go up to? 6 to 9? Yeah, we're going to want this. I think that's going to be the better option for us. We really need that damage. And speaking of damage, Experience. we need to make sure we upgrade. Wicked Slice is going to be really needed for us. We need to upgrade Backdraft. That's going to be another crucial ability for us. And this is already our primary damage there. Um, I guess we'll upgrade Razor's Wit. Because again, we need as much raw damage as we can get right now. And then that leaves us with... What else does that leave us with? Um, we might be getting rid of Cauterize for Backdraft, by the way, which is weird, but... Well, not getting rid of. What did we switch off of before? What did we have otherwise? I think it was Run and Hide. That'd be fine. <laughs> Echoing March is going to do nothing for us in the final fight, so we can maybe throw on, like, Battle Ballad or something just to have a way to move if we need to. I guess Vulnerability Hex is probably going to be good for us. Removing the, um... Removing the block tokens, the block plus tokens, is going to be a nice benefit in that fight, so we'll take More that. Arrive, foolishly seeking fortune Yo, Koopa, and thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. In this domain of the damned. Welcome on in. With peril. A little protection is always welcome. And I think that's really going to be it. We'll grab some laudanum. You never know. Might as well. Bandages, sure. More right. arrive. Foolishly and seeking Turtle, fortune thank you very much and for the glory. Follow. I appreciate it. Guys, good. In Real this close. domain of the damned. Real close. Running four away from 3,000 followers now. So you guys are, you guys are getting us there. Uh, we're going to want to save... I think we're going to want to save these milk-soaked linen. Uh, so let's just go ahead and grab these. More and mathematical with the follow. Hey. Seeking fortune and glory. Plus one, we're getting there. 
of the we damned. Get in there. Gotta do this, do that. All right. Let's go. Uh, oh, before we go, we're gonna do what we always do when we're getting ready to go to the mountain. If you're new here, we have a tradition here, and that's gonna be doing a game giveaway. So, every time we go to the mountain, I like to give away a free random Steam key. Uh, this is for a random key on Steam for a random game. Could be a $2 game, could be a $60 game. Um, anybody's welcome to join. You just have to be following in order to win. Oh, I have display capture up. I didn't realize that. That's cool. Um, good thing I didn't have all my crazy porn up. Um, oh, good. Good job, game capture. <laughs> That's why. Uh, if anybody's welcome to join, you just have to be following in order to win. So if you're not already following, you want to enter, go ahead and do so. Um, and we'll go ahead and do the giveaway at the end of this mountain. All right, two relationships. This one should be amorous. Yeah. While the heart still beats, fate to black and nemesis. Unfortunate. We did not get a great roll there. Hopeful is good. Stress heal and it's not on great abilities. Oh well. See, if you didn't know, if you once you have a relationship, like positive or negative, if they roll another positive relationship next time, they are the like almost guaranteed to get the same relationship. So, if you're ever trying to figure out, like, have a level of prediction, like you know they rolled amorous before, well, if you get them to roll again and it's positive, they'll probably roll amorous again. Yeah. Gives you a level like that's why if you can roll amorous early, it's very powerful because you can focus on that. That when all relationships are good, right? But amorous can get you the heal, which is and even the dot resist the dot removal is is very very potent as well. I think like hopeful isn't as good generally because it's like the hopeful proc is cool, but it's rare and you can't predict it, right? So. Right. Only one fight in the mountain here because it's uh, Act 2, so we don't have to worry about too much here. Just have to get past this deacon. This deacon boy. I'm going to start first trumpet, of course. The cult has been uh, pretty good with the resist recently. Love to see that. Uh, let's go ahead and get take aim going. And then I'm just going to get fire started going now. Back of the next in. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly like that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna start working on the stress here, and we're gonna wanna well done. get him feeling All that way. Yo, Biggles, thank you very much for the sub. Those who cross 13 the months. With coin in hand. How you doing, friend? Excellent miss, thank you. That fire started going, start generating a little bit of the, uh, the burn there. So he's doing pretty good damage there. He did, just did 11 damage on that hit, so pretty happy with that. Um, and again, we're going to pull here. Alright, kill one of them. A sun visit from Phoenix this weekend? You? Uh, well, I'm in Phoenix, so I was here when he left. Agony. Uh, but that's Boy, cool. I'm glad you were able to, to see him. That's awesome. Uh, I've just been working this weekend. That's about it. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, I live out in, in sunny Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. A breakthrough. Okay. So we won't have to worry about worship, which is great. Excellent. Even we'll go ahead and pull the corpse. We're pulling now. The smallest variable can make all the It's an unfortunate uh, sundering steel choice, but we should be okay here. Start doing the damage now. Right. Probably should have encored the occultist for the double heal, but I'll be alright. The enemy weakens. So we'll cauterize here, we'll get a nice big chunky heal. And then hopefully we get a big one here. 27 does the job. God damn, that 21 damage is brutal. see Conan this week. I have seen excerpts, but I haven't uh, watched the whole thing. I do know somebody, uh, somebody, uh, Bate sent me a clip because there's a pair, there's a, a segment where they say like, we're, we're taking on the mountain or something while he's like freaking out. 
So I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. We can maybe use that. All right. Um, the burn salve going. There is maybe an argument for taking otherworldly fragments. Um, a, she can land it, and B, that starts us off of a burn that we can kind of work with to uh, take down the, the lung, the back lung. So again, can we, we gotta just got to be cautious about where we are. Uh, probably just going to throw Robin up there, just so that way she can start early with the burns and stuff and get them going. I highly recommend. I'll have to check it out. Behold, and all right, so here we go. Act two. Can we take it on with this team? This is not a, a team I would normally take for this fight, for sure. We do not have like the most reliable damage for the lungs. To see them um, sigh. We'll just have to see how this goes. Range. Realistically, I'm just going to do this. Hey, we landed it. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we are landing burns, which is really what we want to be doing. And I'm going to start with a repost here. This, I may regret that we may eat the first Sundering Steel. I'm unsure. Uh, but we can also vulnerability hacks. This will probably be fine for us as a way to increase the amount of damage we can do against the lung. Uh, you know what? No, we'll... Uh... Yeah, we'll do this. Lethality, wit, Not Sundering Steel, whatever. You know what I mean. Sundering Breath. Excellent. Really, it kind of depends on how lucky we get with the lung and where it keeps putting things. So... I'm, nah, the daze is fine. 11 to 16, good crit. Excellent. A breakthrough. We just need to keep the burn up on the... Yeah, sorry, I, I was just, uh, the breath, whatever it's called. Hey, the repos, we're getting a lot of repos value there, which is excellent for us. Um, be gone quickly at this rate, we can only hope. I'm gonna apply another burn here. Yeah, we do get front lung again, which is great for us. Just keeping the burn going. Okay, 14 damage from burn now. Um, yeah, we can get the vulnerability hex going here, which would be great for us. And... Excellent. He'll be lung gun. As the hey, light gains purpose, purpose, thanks for gifting that sub. That's very kind of you. And purpose is made clear. All right. My concern is now going to be the runaway is like not where we need her to be to be able to do damage to the back lung. Nor is our occultist. We're completely out of position, but we've gotten very lucky with that right now. So that's interesting. Um. Let's do this. Get that damage. I'm actually gonna skip a turn of burn to do this, because this is we're just in a bad position right now. We can crit there. That's great. Combo on the back is helpful for something, I'm sure. Can we not crit through d dodge plus, please? That'd be fantastic. I'd, I would genuinely appreciate that. Um... This will just remove the block plus token and get us in a good position here. We're probably going to start seeing deep breath. Here we go. 
And we do not have any burn on the lungs, so... This is where things get antsy now. Lethality writ large. Yeah, this is where stuff gets a... Um, sketchy. Stroke. Dodge it. Thank you. The weakness means that we pretty much can't do anything here. We're just going to go for the weakening curse. It's going to lower the damage at least, which is good. It's going to hurt. It wasn't as bad as it could have been, that's for sure. We got lucky with that breath. Cooperation is the key. Get rid of the double blind. Stupendous. Nice crit. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Oh, come off it, dude. Really? Oh. They have given their that's lives. so unfortunate. Bro. An eight heal on that? Oh, my guy. Shallow breath again, which is very weird. But we are in position to at least heal here, which is good. Nice crit. We'll take it. But a welcome one nonetheless. Yeah. At least it wasn't zero. I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right. God, the crit rate right now is pretty nutty. There we go. Now it's a game of just keeping them alive, right? The dodges have not been great for us either, so. Deep breath here. How much damage we got here? One turn of seven. It's not enough to do what we need. Well done. That was a very lucky crit. Well, we're gonna eat another breath here. Because, uh, there ain't no way we can... do what we need to do there. A brilliant conclusion. The crits, though. <laughs> Crit one. Love that. Still alive. Barely. We're still there. It's only five damage, so I was going to go for the. I was hoping that would blind. Obviously, Anxiety my hopes were unfounded. Well, unless he crits, 37% chance of such luck. I think, uh, I think we might lose a hero or two here, depending on how this next goes. Triple crit, nice. Ghastly Gruel saving our butt there, that's for sure. I mean, I gotta do 30 damage at this point. It's nigh impossible. I think we might be a little warped here. Just a little bit. A master stroke. Good dodge, though. Pass heal forces us. 
Hasiel keeps us alive. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. Hasiel keeps us alive, and that's at the end of the day, that's what matters. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. Yes, fuck it out. 68 crit. Crazy. Just resolute somebody. We've got two choice chances for it. Let's go. Ah, oh well. Can't win them all, right? Oh, get another one. Hey, there we go. Good job, Sarmenti. 41 heal from that. That's crazy. And Ghastly Gruel. Love that. Well played. Well played. All right, at this point, we just go for the damage. We can't be guffing around with it. Oh my god, that cured the dot, which is fantastic, because I'm actually just going to go for damage at this point. Good crit, amazing. Once again, teetering on that terrible that's it. precipice. I think that's it. Your fault is not in burying your fury, but in thinking that everybody's fine. Everything's a-okay. Nothing bad could ever happen. G freaking G. The flame grows cool, stronger. man. That was a fun run. Oh, uh, damn bounty hunter. Flame triumph. There we go. We got our next flame triumph. Two down out of, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Was that 45? 45 options there? I was never worried. I'm glad that you had faith in me, Andy. I'm glad somebody had faith in me. That's all that matters. Um, GG. Uh, all right, let's do the game giveaway. If you'd like a chance to win this game, get on in now or forever hold your peace. Um, Runaway rolled Shattered Will. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm not really worried about it. We survived, that's what matters. We'll deal with Shattered Will another day. Another time. Um, hmm. Internet still being funky. Love that. All right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick a winner. I'm not going to tempt the internet gods right now. Um, we'll go ahead and pick a winner for this. Uh, there's only like five people in right now, so if you want a chance to win, I think now is your... Uh, Now's your chance. So. No life-altering, mind-breaking trauma can't be cured by 16 relics. Absolutely valid. Totally valid. Okay, right, we're just gonna go ahead and close the giveaway and pick a winner because the internet's on a fritz right now. Uh, pick a winner. And the winner is Semtex. All right, Semtex, shoot me a DM. Uh... I don't know if anybody can even hear me, but hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, you definitely can hear me. Uh, and y'all should, uh, you know, subscribe because you watch this far. Uh, we're going to find somebody to raid. Uh, hopefully we can get our internet fixed today. We'll see. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go raid Praises. Praises is doing more stuff. Um, Semtex, shoot me a DM. I'll shoot you a DM if not. Um, but thanks all for being here. I appreciate y'all being here. I'll catch y'all on the next one, which will be on Tuesday. Hopefully by then our internet is fixed. Um, but yeah. Love y'all. Thanks, guys. More arrive. Thanks Foolishly for the follow. Seeking fortune We're so close to 3,000. We're two away from 3,000. I appreciate you. More uh, arrive. Foolishly oh my seeking God, two fortune follows. and glory. We're In one away from 3,000. Who's going to do it? Ah, you guys are crazy. All right, love y'all. Bye.